Hi, I'm Deborah King, one of the elder care coordinators at Tacus McGinnis Elder Care Law. Caring for someone with dementia can be unpredictable and scary at times. Mix in firearms and it can be downright dangerous. Research shows that close to 50% of adults age 65 or older either own a gun or live in a household with someone who does. Having firearms readily available for someone with brain change is problematic due to hallucinations and delusions often present with dementia. A person living with dementia may think a family member is an intruder or may rightly try to protect themselves. For those in the early stages of the disease, the risk for suicide is high. Firearm suicides are one of the leading causes of death for older Americans. To prevent harm to both the individual with dementia and others, it is important to plan ahead for how to deal with any weapons. The best thing to do is talk about the guns before they become an issue. This conversation could be similar to the driving conversation or the financial discussion. Perhaps start with the history of the firearm and how it came into the owner's possession. If it is an heirloom, then that would be a great segue into who does dad or mom want to leave this item to in the future. It doesn't have to be taken away or locked up with that conversation. Peel the Band-Aid off slowly and speak of this often. When the time does come, if it comes, the topic will not be a shock. Plus, you have treated your loved one with respect and consideration for letting them make part of the decision on their own. If this window for discussion has closed, some other ideas are to store the firearm and the ammunition in two separate locked locations, or maybe remove all ammunition from the house. It is important to note that having the guns remain in the house, even if they are locked away, can be risky. Another option is to remove the weapons from the house altogether. However, in some states, there are strict rules about transferring gun ownership, so it isn't always easy to simply give the guns away. Families should talk to an attorney and familiarize themselves with state and federal gun laws before giving away guns. If you are caring for someone with dementia and are looking for assistance on how to navigate the healthcare maze, call our office. 